Hey 180 crew, Miss Neat here. As promised, I'm going to walk you guys through block four lesson by lesson so you don't fall behind on your 180 skills. So you guys will be ready when you get back to knock that test out of the park and get yourself out of 180 for good. So we're starting lesson one of topic one of block four. And our learning target says, I can show and explain equivalent fractions using models. So this is the big key today. We're going to be modeling how to make and find equivalent fractions. So if you guys remember, during block three, we spent a lot of time working on equal groups and how you can use multiplication to solve division problems. When you think about fractions, you're also thinking about equal groups. If you took that array and made it a square and divided it into five equal parts, you can see that three go into each of those five equal parts, giving you a total of 15. So that idea of fractions of our group ties directly to what you already know about division. As you can see from the tool here, they want us to divide each of these holes into equal parts. They give us various fractions down here to work with, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 eighth, and 1 sixteenth. All of these numbers are multiples of two and therefore will create equivalent fractions. If I use the model, I can create my whole can do two halves that also equal that whole. I can use four fourths. You notice I'm not putting them exactly where they belong within the row. Computer's locking them into place for me, which is nice, but in reality, things don't lock into place that easily. As you can see, each of these is equivalent to that one whole, two halves, four fourths, eight eighths, or 16 16. So knowing now that there are ways to create equivalents to each other using different size fraction pieces, if we wanna see how many one eighth pieces are in three fourths, we're gonna start by putting what into our model? We're gonna put the three fourths into our model. Then we're gonna use what size pieces to try to find an equivalent to it? we're gonna use those eighth sized pieces. You can see from the model, three one fourth pieces is equivalent to six one eighth pieces. I can check that equivalency using a multiplication equation. Okay, so how do we check to make sure that those pieces are equivalent? We used our model. Our model showed us that three fourths and six eighths occupied the same amount of space meaning they had the same value. But how do we make sure that those are in fact equivalent fractions? There's a quick way for us to check. We're gonna start with three fourths, and we're saying that's equivalent to six eighths. We wanna know how we check that. Well, we know that whatever you do to the numerator, you also have to do the denominator. So if we multiply two over two, which has a value of one, we should be able to check. So three times two is six, four times two is eight. This has a value of one. Two halves equal one whole. Identity property of multiplication says any number multiplied by one is itself. So what it's saying is even though these size pieces are different, they occupy the same amount of space, therefore having the same value, thus making them equivalent. It's a quick way to check. I had a nice fancy tool in front of me that 180 provided, but in reality, we don't always have those tools available to us. So if we look at a shape, like a rectangle, rectangles work best, and I cut it into four equal pieces because my denominator is a four, I shade in three of those pieces because my fraction is three fourths. Now I want to make an equivalent to that. So I draw the same size box, except this time I'm going to cut it into eight pieces. So maybe I do the same four and then I cut each of those in half. And now I'm going to color in six of them because my numerator is six. And when I'm done, I can see once again that these occupy the same space within the shape. 
having the same value and thus making them equivalent. You guys were able to download that packet that I sent out to you on our 180 page. You'll see that this is block four, topic one, lesson one. Okay, I did the blue section for you when I created that model on the computer. We just finished number one, which was how many one eighth pieces are in three fourths. So now you have a few more practice problems that you can do on your own. You've got one on this page and two on the next page, plus your exit ticket. If you wanna try these on your own, create either equations, models, repeated addition sentences, whichever method works best for you, go ahead and do it. You want to send it to me, take a picture, upload it. If not, you want to do a, a Google Meet and we'll talk about it. We can do that too. Just let me know right in the news feed below this video. I'll see you guys soon for the next lesson. All right, I miss you. Bye, everybody.